Hi, it's Gordon here at Averlight, and I'm going to show you a few useful things that you might need to know about the show library. The show library is where everything that you record inside Titan ends up. It's then given a location after that. If I go to softkey F of open workspace window, I can use that search bar to start typing in show library. If you've ever forgotten what page that you've put a playback, or you've ever lost a palette and you're not sure what page it might be, this is where you can find it. You can see there, I've got a whole load of playbacks on page one. Even if I'm on page nine of my playbacks, I could copy straight from my show library to where I'd like it. So I could copy this playback there. Now that playback is on page one and on page nine. This is also true for things like palettes. If you've lost any palettes or put them somewhere entertaining, then it will always be inside your show library. One of the most popular things to use inside show libraries are macros. You can see here, I haven't actually recorded any of my own macros, but inside the show library, there's a good hundred or so of them that might make your life easier when you're programming. To use any of these macros, what you can do is you can copy them either to a workspace window called macros. So I'm gonna go soft key F, start typing in the word macro. And now I've got an entire workspace where I can fill them up. To move them from the show library into there, what I could do is I could say, copy this there. Now, anytime I need it, I can hit that button and it's gonna open my capture visualizer settings window. This is also true with your workspace macro and executor buttons that you have on your console. Exactly the same method. Open the show library, have a look at what ones you'd like to use. It might be that you wanna copy a few of them. So I could copy these and hit one of the spaces on your workspace macro and executor buttons. Those macros will then be delivered there, so you can use them as and when you wish. There's a number of macros inside there, things like changing your palette fade times or changing your palette overlaps. You can also have a few quick macros to scroll window right or get into a line if that's what you'd like to use. There's a macro to quickly open your undo history or change your button sizes as well. My best advice when using some of these macros is to give it a go. The final thing that I want to show you about the show library is inside user settings. I'm going to hold down my Averlight's disk button and I'm going to go user settings. If I go into handles, what I can do is I can change the delete default. At the moment, if I hit delete, I select a playback and I press confirm. This is going to delete it entirely from my show library. But if I change that delete default inside user settings, I can say unassign. This means when I delete a playback, it's just gonna unassign its location. So it's still gonna be inside the show library. This is perfect if you need to do a lot of tidying up very quickly. Now with my delete default set to unassign, I can get rid of all of my color palettes from this window, but not from my show. Anytime you're deleting stuff, you always have the option to unassign handles. This means it's gonna stay inside your show library. If I go to open workspace window, add show library, what I'm gonna see when I have a look at palettes down the left-hand side is all of those color palettes that I've deleted, but it just says unassigned at the top. So I could copy or move these from the show library anywhere that I'd like. If I hit move and then hit my latch button to hold that move down, I could say, right, this one, there, now this one, there, now this one, there. Perfect way to clean up your show files and make them tidier and easier to operate. Thanks for watching and tune in to the next one.